Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, first video of the Mombuka Gakusho preparation for this is the solution video actually for the year 2015. Now, the paper that I want to discuss is Maths B, uh, Mathematics B, and you might want to be well prepared and look at the exact solution of this uh, paper. So, let's see, number one. Now, Oh, before, before that, I will mention that this Mathematics B is actually suitable for those who actually apply for natural science. Okay, so who the ones who choose for the engineering or any other related to natural science, then Mathematics B is one of the requirements for the actual test. Okay, so number one. Well, in this part one, we will discuss about section one, this number. And you must have the resources, but if you have, then I will show you that this is the original Momoka Gakoshu equations. Now let's see number one. And if you look there, there's a logarithm question, right? Number one. So log 10 ax, and if the, if the equation log 10 ax multiple, multiplied by log 10 bx plus one is equal to zero, then they say that a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, and the constant has a solution of x greater than 0. Now, it follows that b over a equals or greater than what? Or uh, what is greater or equal to b over a is, great, is greater than what? So, that is the particular problem for the number 1. So, this is how you do it. This is the question is about basic logarithm. And to do this, it actually requires the great deal knowledge of logarithm. But not much. It's actually just like the basic. Okay. So, the way of solution is like this. So, log ax. So, I want to rewrite the question. Then... We ask about the range of b over a, and then we have all of this sort of logarithm. So what we might do now is actually make this one is similar to b over a. What I mean is this, log ax, log 10, b over a divided by ax plus 1 is equal to 0. So you might see that b over a is what the question asks for the range and ax is actually similar to the first logarithm here so we already got the value of the range so let's continue and remember look look this is kind of multiplication and if you already remember the basic identity of logarithm if log ab plus log ac if the base is equal then this is will equal to log a b c so we can actually separate this logarithm become log a x plus now i'm in multiple log 10 b a b over a plus log 10 a x plus one after that we can multiply it. we can multiply to the bracket so log ax well i want to do this one first so log ax is in front so because this is the same then it can be squared and then plus log ax excuse me log 10 ax well it's actually just be the same but no matter log 10 b over a plus 1 and you might see in this equation, log ax has come in the variable, whether it is squared or it is just a normal. And we can actually treat this as a, just a normal variable, simple or analogous to the quadratic equation, right? If you remember, if you remember the quadratic equation, you see, this is x squared and this is x. And you see here 
that log ax squared and log ax. So we can see that these two can be treated as variable. And to make things much uh, simplify, we can actually make or assume log ax is y, capital Y. So y squared plus log 10 b over a y plus 1 equal to 0, right? Then, due to the what is known from the question, that everything is actually greater than 0. So, the discriminant of this quadratic equation should be greater than 0 too. And you know, right, the formula of discriminant is b squared minus 4ac greater or equal to 0. And now, the b is just a constant of variable x, in this case, variable y, which is log 10 b over a squared minus 4, and a is the constant of x squared, and this 1 is the constant of variable y squared. So 1 and c, just a constant, 1. Now I mean it's great, greater or equal to 0, and we can simplify that, become log b over a squared minus 4. And if you look, this is similar to the simple algebra, which is this form, x squared minus y squared. And this form, we can transform it to x plus y, x minus y. And this form can be transformed into log b over a plus 2, log b over a minus 2. Now we can simply find the solution of b over a from this uh, algebraic expression. Now we can uh, came with the solution one by one. Log b over a plus 2 equal to 0. So we solve this one first. And now log b over a equals negative 2. And we can say that b over a is 10 to the power of minus 2, and this is equal to 1 over 100. And next is about log b over a minus 2. So log b minus over a minus 2 is greater than 0, is equal to 0. Then log b over a is equal to 2. So b over a is 10 squared equals to 100. Now, we get actually three crucial numbers, that is 1 over 100, 100, and 0. So we put in the number line, 0, 1 over 100, 100. So the purpose of this number line is to test whether the equation we brought here is sweet with any number that we take from this number line. So let's say we take 0. We test with the, this with this equation because we get b over a is something like that. If we put 0 uh, in this one, so log 0. And look, log 0 is undefined. It's a math error if you put it in calculator. So this will be out of question. And the way you uh, give it a sign that 0 is undefined or cannot be applied to this equation, you can apply this just a simple circle. Now, we test 1 over 100. So if one, log 1 over 100 squared minus 4, this actually equals to minus 2. 4 minus 4. And you can see, it's 0. So 1 over 100 is correct. We can put it as a dot. Meaning that 1 over 100 is applicable or the appropriate solution for this equation. Now let's try 100. So log 100 squared minus 4 is greater or equal to 0. So this is 2 squared minus 4. 
and 4 minus 4 and this is correct either so we can put it a dot here now after we test these three numbers we test the number just one of the line let's let's try this one uh, in the middle of this let's say we take number one we test one here so log one squared minus four this is zero and look this is minus four which is not greater or equal to zero so we cannot use this interval we put a big cross on that meaning that if we found this is an appropriate inappropriate solution uh, the next interval is ap appropriate for the solution so this is appropriate interval and in the middle of this is an appropriate interval and for b per a is less than zero is not uh, a good interval a correct interval so if you confuse let me prove you one so let's say we plug a number 1000 from number greater than 100 to prove that this is a correct interval so let's see log 1000 squared minus 4 is greater than 0 log 1000 is 3 9 minus 4 is 5 so this is correct right so this is a correct interval now for this you want to prove it well this is actually a negative number and what is the, the the logarithm sorry the logarithm of negative number well nothing it's undefined same as zero remember logarithm of zero is undefined or math error in the calculator and log of negative number is nothing it's undefined as well so we already get the interval which is this one so let's look at the original answer i mean the original question which is this range b over a is greater or equal to what to 100 and what is greater than equal of b over a greater than what is 1 over 100 uh, greater or equal to b over a and greater than zero so the final answer is we're going to b over a b over a is greater or equal to 100 or 1 over 100 greater or equal to b over a greater than zero so this is solution of number one and next video would be number two of section one